Now, listen, please. The teacher is going to make a revision. Wait. Okay, let's start one more time, okay? Good morning, everybody. Today, we the class is discovering Machu Picchu, okay? Today, we will learn two actions, okay? How to mention two actions at the same time in past, okay? Two actions in past. Uh, the teacher is going to evaluate this, okay? In the forms. Okay, now let's start the class, please, watching a video, okay? About Machu Picchu, okay? Uh, one student has the microphone, okay? Okay. During our visit to Peru, we got to experience tons of incredible adventures. But no trip to Peru can be considered complete without first looking down upon the incredible ancient city of Machu Picchu. We boarded the train at Valente Tambo Station for a one and a half hour journey on the Blue Rail Machu Picchu Station. The train went on incredible views of the river and mountains, and even the starting point for those hiking the famous Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. We arrived in Machu Picchu Bay and wandered the markets in town before catching a bus at the Winding Mountain Trail, a 25 minute drive from the entrance to the ruins. The visit to the ruins of Machu Picchu starts with a quiet cup of cloud forest some smaller children might need a hand on. And when we got to the first viewpoint, it was everything that we had hoped for and more. Strolling around Machu Picchu was a blast for the whole family. There are lots of stairs, but the maze like streets made for some great games of hide and seek. The ruins also made for the perfect place for some of the world's favorite games. Climbing rocks, chasing grasshoppers, catching glimpses of our local biscotches, and of course, chasing lions. Just watch out for those lions. They act like they own the place. Okay, now as you can see, uh, now we are going to learn some vocabulary, okay, for this chapter, okay, but also mention in the video, okay, for example, okay, let's see, when I went to Cusco, okay, you can say, I visited Machu Picchu, okay, when we say two actions in the same time, in the same time, we need to talk about past, okay, if the first question is in past, we continue. Yeah, yeah, girl. Okay, let's see some examples using the vocabulary you have in your books, okay? Some examples. For example, this. The guide, the guide said that Machu Picchu means all hill. Okay, the vocabulary is guide. Okay, this. Guide is a person, okay? Guide us to the tourist place. They are the tourists. Okay, this is an example. Let's see other examples, okay? For example, we hike it through the mountains. Okay, we hike it. Hike it. Teacher, what is hike? Hike is similar to walk, okay? It's go for a walk, okay? Hike it, 
high. And we were lucky to get to the top. Also, lucky is in your vocabulary, okay, lucky. Lucky is an adjective. In Spanish, it's afortunado, okay? We were lucky to get to the top, okay, to get to the top. Let's see other examples, okay? In the video, we see in the video that the kids were amazed when they saw Machu Picchu, okay? Amazed is the new word, okay? It's the vocabulary, amazed. What is amazed? In Spanish, is asombrado, okay? Amazed. The kids were amazed when they saw Machu Picchu. Okay, and another example, the view was fantastic. You see, when they hike it, they can saw all the landscape. And the view is in the vocabulary too, view was fantastic. What is view? Vista. Okay, la vista. The view was fantastic. Okay. Now, please open your books, okay? Let's open your books. The page 18, okay? Page 18, you have the vocabulary, as you see, okay? This is the vocabulary for this class. Let's listen and repeat, okay? Amazed. 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 Amazed, okay? Asombrado. Guide. 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 Guide, okay, is the person who guide us. Trail. 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 Trail is similar to road, okay, similar to road, sendero. In the video, for example, in the video, they were by the Inca Trail. They were walking by the Inca Trail, okay? Now let's continue. View. View, okay. View. View. As you see, view is vista, okay. View. Hike. 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 Hike similar to walk, okay. Ancient. 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 You know what's ancient? It's similar to old, okay. In the video mentioned too, no, that the family went to the ancient city of Machu Picchu, okay, ancient. Lucky. And finally, lucky. Lucky. Lucky, okay, lucky in Spanish, afortunado, okay? Now, please, let's read another, another experience, okay, with other family. Let's listen, okay, another experience. And tell me to answer this question, okay? What does the name Machu Picchu mean? Teacher, what is this question? Mean is a verb, significar, okay? What does the name Machu Picchu mean? Okay, the name Machu Picchu, what does mean? Okay, let's listen and follow, please, in your books. Two, listen and answer. Where could you find the text below? What does the name Machu Picchu mean? Then read. Discovering Machu Picchu by Stephen Gibbs. Last year, I had a great experience. I was in Peru with my family and we visited the ancient city of Machu Picchu. It's high up in the Andes Mountains. We hiked through the mountains for two days to get there. Our guide told us many things about the city. He told us that the name means Old Hill and that the Inca built it around 1450 CE. Nobody really knows what the Inca used it for. Some people say it was a home for the emperor. On the second day, while we were climbing up the long trail, a man in our group, slipped and fell. It was scary, but he was lucky. He didn't get hurt. When we arrived, we were all tired, but amazed. The view was fantastic. It is truly an amazing place. Okay. Who wants to participate? Who can tell me 
What does the name Machu Picchu mean? Mention. Old Hill. Old Hill. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Old Hill, okay. Machu Picchu means old hill. And teacher, what is old hill? You know what's old? Hill. Hill in Spanish is colina. Vieja montaña. Yes. Hill, okay. Thank you, Daniel. It's colina or montaña, mountain, okay? Similar. Good. Now, let's listen one more time, please. Let's listen one more time. Try to focus on the verbs in past, okay? And try to find, try to find when they mention two actions in past in the same time. Okay, this is the, the objective of this class, okay? And we are going to use, we are going to mention two, okay, two events in past that happens in the same time. Okay, let's listen one more time. Two, listen and answer. Where could you find the text below? What does the name Machu Picchu mean? Then read. Discovering Machu Picchu by Stephen Gibbs. Last year, I had a great experience. I was in Peru with my family and we visited the ancient city of Machu Picchu. It's high up in the Andes Mountains. We hiked through the mountains for two days to get there. Our guide told us many things about the city. He told us that the name means Old Hill and that the Inca built it around 1450 CE. Nobody really knows what the Inca used it for. Some people say it was a home for the emperor. On the second day, while we were climbing up the long trail, a man in our group slipped and fell. It was scary, but he was lucky. He didn't get hurt. When we arrived, we were all tired but amazed. The view was fantastic. It is truly an amazing place. Okay, Joshua, can you, Joshua, can you tell me what sentence in the in this article mentioned two actions that happened in the same time in the past? Um, I was in Peru with my family and we visited the ancient city of Machu Picchu. I was in Peru with my family and we visited the ancient city of Machu Picchu. Good, there's one, okay, good. There is another, okay, there is another. Cristina, can you tell me, Cristina? Professor, ¿cuál era la que había dicho Joshua? The first part, no? I was in Peru with my family and we visited the ancient city. Okay. No puedes estar con esto jugando, toma. El otro día tu profesora te ha hecho preguntas si estabas en la luna. ¿No? Sí. Yo estaba escuchando acá. Diego, tu micrófono. Diego, please, pay attention with the microphone. Ahora sí puedo hacerlo. Cristina, please, tell me. We hiked through the mountain for two days to get there. Uh, no, this is only one sentence in pass. The other is this, pay attention please, pay attention the rest. While we were climbing, while we were climbing, a man in our group slipped and fell. This is a sentence when two actions happen in pass. Let's see more examples, okay? Let's see more examples. Pay attention in our books. In, pay, pay attention, please, in the presentation. Look at here. For example, look at this picture. Look at this picture. While John was cooking, okay? While John was cooking, Mark was sleeping. You see? Two actions happen in the same time. While John was cooking, Mark was sleeping. And there are two ways to mention this. One is with while, with while, okay? And the other is with when, when we use when. What is while in Spanish? Mientras. While John was cooking, Mark was sleeping. You see? And we use the comma to separate the two ideas. When we use when, it's different. The position of when is not at the beginning. The position is in the middle. For example, 
John was cooking, one idea, when Mark was sleeping. You see? The two are okay. The two sentences are okay. While John was cooking, Mark was sleeping. Or John was cooking when Mark was sleeping. The two sentences are okay. Only the position of this word, while and when. You know what's when in Spanish, no? When is your birthday? When, okay, for time. Let's see more examples, okay? Look at the pictures. Look at this picture, the same. She was cleaning a window when the telephone rang. You see? She was cleaning the window, was cleaning, was cleaning. When the telephone rang. Okay? You know what this was, no? Estaba. Was cleaning. Okay? And you see, this is past tense and this is past. Okay? Another example. Okay? Look at the picture. The same. Mike was driving a car. He was driving. When he saw a helicopter. You see? There are two kinds of actions that happens in the same time. The same, when is in the middle. When is connecting one idea with other idea, you see? Let's see another example. Dylan was diving, Dylan was diving when he saw a turtle, you see? Now, examples with while, okay? The same. While the children, look at the picture, while the children were playing in the park, it started to rain. Remember, the two sentences are in past. The two. Okay, it's necessary that the two are in past. Now, let's continue other examples, okay? Now, this example, the same. While Kate was reading a book, the dog came. As you see, one idea, Kate was reading a book, comma, the dog came, another idea. You see? Okay? Now, okay. now please, let's, let's remember this, okay? When two actions happen in the moment. Now, in the article, please, in this article, we have other verbs, okay? We have to know. Hap, you know what's hap, hat. Okay, hike, the pass of hike, hike it. We have build and built, okay, it's the pass, present and pass. Use, use it in the article about Machu Picchu, in the experience appear these verbs, okay. Then a sleep, sleep it, okay, remember the man, arrive and arrive it. Okay, remember, these are, are in Spanish, okay. Hab, hat. At home, please repeat. Hab, hat. Hike, hike it. Build, build. Use, use it. Sleep, sleep it. Arrive, arrive it. Okay, these are the verbs in this text. Now, please, let's go to the book, okay? To answer the questions, okay? To answer the questions. Page 19. Only remember this kind of words. Who is for people. Remember who for people. Where for place. When is about time. When is your birthday. Remember. What. Why is for a reason. Why. Because. What. You know what's what. What's your name. And how. How is for a way. How are you. How. Como. Okay. Remember. How? Now, let's go to the book, as I say. Page, page, please. 19. We have some questions here. If you want to participate, raise your hand, okay? Now, listen. Who did Stephen visit Peru with? Who? His family. Raise your hand, please, okay? If you want to participate, raise your hand. Click in the bottom, raise your hand, okay? Okay, Fabricio, please. Then you, Daniel, okay? Fabricio, can you help me in the number one? 
Steven visit Peru with his family. Good. Fabricio, now tell me in past. Tell me in past tense. In past. You tell me in present. Uh, Steven visited Peru with his family. Very good. Remember, we are working in past, so we need to change the verb. The verb in past, visited. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Who, quien, okay? With, con quien. He visited Peru with his family. Thank you. Daniel, please, can you answer the number two? Where, okay, where is the ancient city of Machu Picchu? The ancient city of Machu Picchu is in Cusco. Good, it's in Cusco. More specific, in the, in the article mention. Mention the exact place, okay? There is other answer. It's good, Cusco, okay? Teacher is in Peru, yeah, it's good, it's okay. But in the book, in the article, according to the article, mention other place. It's in the first paragraph. In the end and smooth times? Raise your hand, please, if you want to participate, okay? Raise your hand. Click in the bottom. But that student was good, okay? In the first paragraph, mention that, no? The Machu Picchu, city, the ancient, okay? City of Machu Picchu, it's high up in the mountains, in the Andes mountains, okay? This is very specific. And the other in Peru or in Cusco is very general, okay? Now, good, very good. Continue. Question three. How, how, okay, did Steven get to Machu Picchu? According to the article, okay, according to the article. How? By airplane? By train? How? By bus? By a taxi? How? How did Steven get to Machu Picchu? This also is in the vocabulary, that expression, the word, okay? Let's see. Alison, please, can you tell me? Alison, can you tell me how did Steven get to Machu Picchu? How means how are you? Okay, how? How did Steven get to Machu Picchu? No, Alison. Okay, Angel, can you can you help me to answer this question? Angel? Profe, me escucha? Yes. Mm. A ver. By train, by airplane, by bus, walking. By bus? By bus. You can, you need to read the paragraph, uh, Angel. Read the paragraph number two, a mention. Didn't mention the bus, okay? Another, Adriana, can you tell me about question number three? No, teacher. No? No. Belen, can you tell me? Belen, can you tell me? ¿Quién me escucha? Yes. By climbing. Climbing, good. Climbing, hiking, okay? They climb it, the mountains, they hike it, they walk it for two days. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that Steve and his family walk it for two days to arrive at Machu Picchu? Okay. They didn't go by bus, they didn't go by train, they walk it, they hike it, they climb it. Okay. Good, thank you. Question four. Who who told them things about the city? 
your microphones, please, okay? Let's see. Camila and Abeli Baltasar, can you tell me, Camila, who told them things about the city? Camila, when you go to one place, Cusco or Arequipa or a tourist place, what is the person who teach you something about this place? Who? The teacher, the teacher, your father, who? The bus driver? Camila Santillana, can you tell me? Who told them things about the city? The, the guide? The guide, very good, the guide, okay? Remember, when you go to a tourist place, a guy told you, okay, told you, in this case, told them things about the city, okay? The guide. Question five. Daira, please, can you tell me who built the ancient city of Machu Picchu? Nada. Daira, no? Diego. Yes. Daira, who built okay, the ancient city of Machu Picchu? Mm. The ancient Incas. Who made? Who made? Who built? The Incas built the ancient city of Machu Picchu. Yeah, good. The Inca, no? The Inca built the ancient city, okay? And finally, how, again, how, remember, how, how are you, okay, the same. How did everyone feel when they got there? How do they feel? They feel sad? They feel happy? How do Amazing. everyone feel when they Amazing. go? Okay, Daniel, thank you, Daniel. You participated three times in this class, Daniel. Okay, but other students, okay, let's see. Christina, Christina Linda, please, can you tell me how did everyone, or Leonardo, please, okay? Did professor? How did they... Did everyone feel when they arrived, when they got there? Mm. No? Okay, Luciana Arbe, can you okay. help me? Luciana Arbe, can you help me? How did Steven and his family feel when they got to the top, when they get to Machu Picchu? It's in the last paragraph, in the last paragraph. Mm. Also, it's in the vocabulary, eh? in the vocabulary. They feel sad? No? Luciana Freire, can you tell me? How did Steven and his family feel? How? How do they feel? Martin, Martin Aquino, or Mateo, please, you two boys. How do, did Steven and his family feel? Amazing. Okay, they feel amazed. They were tired. It's in the last part, in the last part of the article. They feel tired, okay, but amazed. They were well, very excited. Also, it's correct, amazed, okay? They feel, in this case, they felt amazed. It's okay, too, okay? No problem. They were tired because they walked two days. They walked for two days. They feel tired. But... When they look. Okay. No. Complete this. Valerie, your microphone. Okay, be careful with that. Okay. Complete, please, very fast. This part. And to finish the activity four, okay? 
activity four in your books. If you finish this, let's go to the activity four. Pay attention to the pictures. We are going to listen only and complete names. Okay, only names. For example, in picture A, in picture A, okay, they are in a park. Okay, in the picture B, a boy is uh, in the evening. Okay, it's late. Picture C, he saw a, a strange. Okay, a strange. Picture D, he yelled. He was scared. Picture E, he was in the library, okay? And F, he is waiting in the bus stop, okay? We only, we are going to listen and tick the correct picture. What pictures mention the listening, okay? Let's listen, okay? Only check in the picture that mention the listening, okay? Repetition one. Four. Listen and tick the correct pictures. Jack left the library late, so he decided to walk through the park because it was the fastest way home. There weren't many people in the park because it was getting dark. Jack was walking past the playground when he heard a noise behind him. He stopped and looked around, but he didn't see anyone. He continued walking. And then he heard the noise again. It was louder this time. It sounded like someone was following him. He quickly turned around, but again he didn't see anyone. He was alone. I'm just tired, he thought. I must get home to rest. He was almost out of the park when he felt a cold hand on his shoulder. Jack screamed. The hand was shaking him. Leave me alone, Jack shouted. Please wake up. You mustn't sleep in here, a voice said. Jack opened his eyes and looked around. He was still in the library. It was just a dream, he said. I fell asleep while I was studying. Jack was relieved, but he didn't walk home through the park that day. He took the bus. Okay, good. We don't have much time, please. Sorry, we're going to give you. I'm going to help you in this activity. Okay, mention that he. Okay, usually uh, wants to come by the park. Okay, in his dream, someone touched his shoulder, but real, he was waiting. Okay, now please. I'm. Let's go to the chat, please, everybody. Let's go to the chat, okay, that, for the evaluation. This is the last part, okay? Let's go to the chat. The teacher is going to... Uh, les voy a habilitar el chat, okay? Les voy a pegar el link en el chat. Como es el Zoom, tú tienes que, por favor, este, copiar este link. Copiar y pegarlo en una página de internet. Ya, no es como en el Blackboard. En el Blackboard sí conectaba automáticamente. Pero en este caso seleccionas... Ya, seleccionas.